Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we'll see how to find out the integral of secant cube theta or secant cube x. Integral of secant cube theta or integral of secant cube x. Now, when we want to solve this particular problem, we'll be using the concept of integration by parts. That means we will write this integral as product of two like secant square theta into secant theta d theta. Now why we are doing that? Because we know the integral of secant square theta that is tan theta and we know the derivative of secant theta that is how we choose our two functions whenever we want to use integration by parts. Now, by the way, what is the formula for integration by parts? That says that integral of, suppose you want to multiply first function with second function and find out the integral of that, then that is integral of second function multiply with first function minus integral of first function derivative multiply with integral of second function for that we need to whole thing we need the integral now in this scenario our second function is secant square theta our first function is secant theta so let's apply that formula we will have integral of second function that is integral of secant square theta multiplied with first function that is secant theta minus integral of now derivative of first function that is secant theta derivative multiply with integral of second function that is integral of secant square theta d theta on top of that we have the integral. Now this will become integral of secant square theta we know is tan theta and that multiply with secant theta. By the way let us say what we need to find out is i i equals to tan theta into secant theta minus what is the derivative of secant theta secant theta tan theta so can i say secant theta tan theta and the integral of secant square theta is tan theta so what we have now is i equals to secant theta tan theta minus integral of secant theta tan square theta d theta. What we will do now, this tan square theta, we will try to write it as secant square theta minus 1, so that we will get another i with negative sign, we can bring it to left hand side. So let us do that, in the next step I will write down i equals to it should be equal to actually i equals to secant theta tan theta minus integral of secant theta multiply with tan square theta we will write it as secant square theta minus 1 d theta. So this will become i equals to secant theta tan theta minus integral of secant cube theta plus integral of secant theta d theta. We have d theta here also. Now let us go to the next page and write it down. We have i equals to secant theta tan theta minus i plus integral of secant theta d theta. This i we can take it to this side we can write down 2i equals to secant theta tan theta plus what is the integral of secant theta? We know that is logarithm of secant theta plus tan theta. And now since we have 2i, we can say i, what we want to know, that is integral of secant cube theta d theta, that is nothing but i, that is equals to 1 by 2 times secant theta tan theta plus 
logarithm of secant theta plus tan theta plus c. We can also convert this into sine and cos. We can write down half cos theta. Secant theta is 1 by cos theta. Tan theta is sin theta by cos theta. So can I say sin theta by cos square theta plus logarithm of 1 by cos theta plus sin theta by cos theta. That is 1 plus sin theta divided by cos theta. plus c. So, the integral of secant cube theta equals to half of secant theta tan theta plus logarithm of secant theta plus tan theta plus c. Let us go back and summarize this. We have to find out the integral of secant cube theta d theta. So, what we did? We took secant cube theta, we have written it as secant square theta into secant theta. This is our second function and this is our first function. Now, we applied integration by parts which says that if you want to know the integral of 1 and 2, then integral of 2 into 1 minus integral of derivative of 1 multiply with integral of 2. So, that we applied here and we said integral of secant square theta second function integral into first function minus derivative of first function into integral of second function. That whole thing I need to find out the integral. So, we got secant theta tan theta minus integral of secant theta tan square theta. The tan square theta we have written it as secant square theta minus 1 and we saw that we are getting secant theta tan theta minus i plus integral of secant theta. So, that i will come to here. You get 2i equals to secant theta tan theta plus logarithm of secant theta plus tan theta. From that we know i, I equals to 1 by 2 into secant theta tan theta plus logarithm of secant theta plus tan theta plus c.